Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 2nd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather. And we're starting out here looking at our sun, as well, satellite imagery of the tornado watches and warnings from the huge system heading through central United States right now. Three states are under tornado watches and warnings and will be continuing throughout this this evening and most likely tomorrow as that storm slowly moves eastward. Give you a quick look here at our sun the last 48 hours as it has not projected many new events since we last spoke. It's been pretty quiet as of that, but we've got large plasma filament on the northwest limb, which took off early today you can see that plasma filament here and it was noted on the last daily do no major flares to talk about since the m class and the small x class flare quick look at a multi-spectrum of the latest events the last 48 hours on our star. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today to the Daily daily Do, keeping humanity aware and prepared to space weather events, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, extreme weather. We do have two sunspots here in the southern hemisphere of the sun, one of them firing away some activity in the last few images here. as well that outgoing sunspot region still flaring off quick look at space weather right now space weather overview solar x-ray flux remains in b range right now after shooting off a small c-class flare today geomagnetic activity slightly elevated kp3 As well, a quick look here at Lasco 2, showing all of the energy coming off of our sun. Sorry, this is Lasco 3, which is blue one. Red one is Lasco 2 satellite. But yeah, not much to report coming from our sun. Real time solar winds are sitting at about just under 500 kilometers per second, as we were expecting that space weather event from the last few solar flares glancing blow quick look at our Schumann resonance for today which is a power of 35 starred with a 27 so amplitude of 35 quality of 20 amplitude 27 Earth's frequency Give a quick look here around the world for earthquakes the last 24 hours. Most of the activity was here in the Japan region, Izu Islands, and north of the Marianas Trench. Very large and deep earthquake today in Tonga region. It was a 5.4, 519 kilometer depth. That's the deepest last 24 hours. As you can see, three very deep earthquakes today. Lots of activity through the United States. We're going to zoom, zoom in on that area there. USGS. As we did just recently see some activity. Coso Plate. This is the Coso Volcanic Range. Coso Junction 3.5 earthquake. As well notable here, all the minor earthquakes around San Francisco. 2.5. 
2.3 there, Brentwood, California. As well, noting the geysers. As yesterday, there was quite a swarm right here. Now, this region here saw about 100 earthquakes yesterday. Definitely quieter, quieter today. And this is our regular geysers. Minor earthquakes that continue. Some activity around St. Helens as well. And as well, Mount Rainier. Minor activity, minor activity, folks. Other than that, we're only sitting at about 220 earthquakes around the world, according to USGS. Notable earthquake here. Uh, Bellany Islands region, 4.9, way south of New Zealand. Way too quiet here, South America, Central America for my liking. And just recently we did have a 4.0 earthquake here in Canacol, Portugal, south of Spain, out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And that's earthquakes for the past 24 hours. Give you a quick show here of our weather maps around the world. As we do still have quite a bit of snow falling. Higher elevations, look at that all across the upper northwest regions of the United States. Higher elevations still receiving a lot of snow over the next few days. Look at that big winter storm for Saskatchewan. This most likely will drop over 50 centimeters of snow. We are on May 2nd, 2022. So what, uh, April snow showers make uh, the flowers come for May? Or April snow makes things grow, whatever you want to call it. We've got some late season winter weather for sure. And it's happening all across the Northern Hemisphere right now. A quick look here at the systems that will be coming through across North America. Intense and extreme weather brewing through central United States up until tomorrow. And then watch as the next system comes in for Thursday. Colorado Logue is going to be racing in, bringing in a lot of gulf moisture here. Huge high pressure ridge sitting over Florida. So watch for these systems to crash. And yeah, extreme weather events will continue through the U.S. as it moves eastward to the coast. And then long-range forecast here, watching a possible tropical system here developing off the coast of the United States. That system is still spinning right up until next Wednesday off the coastline there. It could gain some energy and turn into a category anything hurricane racing up the coastline here. So heads up, my friends and family. Stay aware and prepared as well. Look at here. Across the upper northwest. Big system here coming through. And this will all start Saturday, the 7th. Huge low heading through Alberta. And as well, another low here. So two lows racing through Alberta. Both of them will be packing a wintry punch. Other than that, there is no major... Other major uh, systems to talk about. We do have a possible cyclone here developing for India in the long range forecast here. Looks like it'll be coming out of Indonesia Thursday. And then by Friday, Saturday, it will be at least a Category 1 cyclone by the time it heads into eastern parts of India. So watch for extreme weather event heading into India as well. Special coastal regions. Watch for hurricane conditions, cyclone conditions. No major changes here for Australia. Since our last forecast report.
I want to thank everybody for tuning in and as well inviting me into your living rooms today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it with your friends and family from around the world. Looking at quite a system heading in for Tuesday, Wednesday, parts of Eastern Australia, Queensland, all the way down to Victoria. Pretty intense weather, possible cyclone heading into parts of Townsville, Queensland in the long range. Again, much love, everybody, and thank you for watching today. Please don't forget to hit that like and share with your friends and family. And let me know where you're watching from. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now.